Yo, what's going on, Pokemon friends and Pokemon fans? Welcome back to Open TCGs. And yes, I have made the decision of opening up some more Ultra Prism. I can no longer wait for Ultra Prism to figure out, or Pokemon, I should say, to, for Pokemon to figure out about what they're going to be doing in Ultra Prism. I just cannot wait, okay? I have to open up some Ultra Prism. So therefore, we're going to be opening up this Elite Trainer Box. As you guys hopefully saw in a couple of last videos I made, I do have quite a few Ultra Prism booster boxes, but I just don't want to tap into them because I don't know what's going to happen. Um, from my understanding and talking to other Poketubers as well, um, they have also made the same decision, and which is why we're not really seeing Ultra Prism being opened up in many channels. Uh, we just can't sit here and afford to open up a booster box that may not get a reprint anymore because for a while everybody was like, okay, fine, just give it a break. You know, they're, they're going to be doing it. They're just trying to figure out what's going on with the Cyrus Prism Star card. And then all of a sudden now they're like way past like that whole thing. And Forbidden Light's about to come out. And uh, no Ultra Prism. So they may just want to hold on to what we have now. Which is the reason why I'm waiting to see what happens. And I'm holding up on my uh, booster boxes. Okay. I just wanted to make sure you guys knew what this whole thing was about. So in that way, you guys will be like, w -w what's going on Open TCGs? How come you're not doing Ultra Prism? That is the reason why. And uh, I've been filling in the gap with uh, many other things I have to open up. But anyway, that is basically what's going on. Let me go ahead and uh, while I'm tearing into this Elite Trainer box, I want to let you know that the code card winners are going to be down in the description box below for yesterday's video. If you happen to see your name down there, please get a hold of me on my social media accounts. All the links are going to be down there as well. And then I'll be sending your code cards. Now, with the Elite Trainer Box opening today, the question of the day is, which one is your favorite gold card? Is it the Solgaleo one or is it the Lunala one? Let me know which one is your favorite gold card out of this set. And I'll be selecting three winners for tomorrow's video. Okay? So, while I open this up, let me just give you guys a hits up that my eBay uh, eBay store link is down in the description box below. If you guys want to help out the channel in any kind of way, uh, please go ahead and check out the stuff. I'm still up putting stuff onto it, so it's it's what I have there now. It's nowhere near what it's going to be in the next couple of days. I'm still constantly just be trying to work between work here and YouTube and that, and so it's, it's taking a little while. But I do have my custom-made tins that I have for sale in there. If you guys are interested in buying those, they're $19.99. Free shipped anywhere in the United States of America. And uh, you do get one in every three chance to get a full art card, like a secret rare one of these guys, or a hyper rare or a full art uh, trainer. So go ahead and check out the video for the uh, actual tin if you guys wanna watch that real quick. If not, go ahead and check my eBay store for singles and little um, lots of Pokemon cards that I have in there so anyway that was the player's guide let's just dig into what's really good into the uh elite trainer box which is all the packs so we have two i always count them because it could be a chance that you can get one more or it could be a chance that you can get one short so three four five six seven and eight and for those of you who have never opened one of these before, um, let's, there is a code card here for one of you guys. Um, yeah, let me keep it because I want to give it to somebody that wins the code card giveaways. Um, and then you do get a, a pack of energies. You get some card dividers. You get some sleeves, which uh, features the outside of the uh, Elite Trainer box. You do get some uh, dice, which they have all come out of their pouch or the little bag here uh, but there are the damage counters with the symbol of the set as well as your gx marker and your poison and your burn marker so let me just give you guys a quick look at the uh this one's the translucent one with the actual set sign right there so that's basically how that uh works if you guys have never opened one of these before let me go ahead and put this aside real quick and uh because we need some space to open things up and that's pretty much it. Now, I recently uh, noticed that they have started to put some of the um, uh, Pokemon Center advertisement into the products, which is nice because it does let you know that they have some cool things if you guys are interested in that. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and open up the packs. Well, let me drop the camera real quick here so we can get a better look at what we're doing. And we're not staring at the ceiling. There we go. Perfect. Alright, let me just make sure this camera is tight here. I don't want to 
have an accident. So there is the uh, Dustmane Necrozma, Lithion, Giratina, another Dustmane Necrozma, another Lithion, another Giratina, and two Dawn Wings Necrozma. So it's pretty good. We have even packs, which is amazing. Let's just go ahead and start with the Dustmane Necrozma here on the right. And I'm going to give you some code cards here for the opening. Hopefully we can get some uh, good pulls. Wish me luck. And let's go. Very energy aside. Now with the um, Ultra Prism uh, stuff here is amazing. In case of for those of you who don't know. Even if you do get a green code card. You can still get a Prism Star card. Which is amazing. So it's almost like pulling a break card from the X and Y sets. Alright. Fire Memory. Roselia Reverse Hollow Common and a Wash Rotom. Nothing on the first car, uh, pack. A Lithium pack. One of my most favorite pack artworks in the set itself. There is an Ultra Prism right there for you guys. If you guys please let me know what you guys get out of the Prism code card on the PTCGO. Let me know please. I would appreciate if you guys did. Tell me that because somebody, um, when we first uh, opened up the first booster box of the Ultra Prism, I gave some code cards away. And the uh, awesome subscriber got a hold of me and said, look, by the way, I got a gold card. So I was like, oh, that is so cool. I was super, super excited for him. So if that happens to you, please let me know. Missing Clover, Manaphy. Oh, very nice. A super boost energy. And that is a very beautiful miscut card. Because as you can see, the border on top is just very, very thin and very thick in the bottom. So that happens to be 136 out of 156. And it's a beautiful looking card. As you guys, I just said that before. It was a green code card that we got out of that pack. But we still got a good pull from the pack. So I'm going to go ahead and get uh, some sleeves. Because I don't have any perfect fits. I will be going to the store later on and picking up some. Uh, local game store, that is. And um, yeah, we'll go with the flow. Here's a Giratina pack right there for you guys to enjoy and look and uh, this packs are really tough to open for some reason I don't know what's going on I usually can open uh, them up really quickly dark energy aside and three and two can we get something else out of these elite trainer box now I remember back in the day <clears throat> when you opened up an elite trainer box you knew you were getting good pulls like it was a it was almost like Pokemon meant to do that to kind of draw people into playing the game because you bought an elite trainer box Usually, the people who are buying an Elite Trainer box uh, is somebody who is just basically getting into the game or somebody who is already in the game that just wants to get the box for storage or something like that, but mostly somebody who is brand new to the game. And therefore, um, you, it almost seemed like they gave you like good pulls on purpose, you know? Um, nowadays, though, it's, it, it doesn't seem to be that way anymore. It seems like you just like, you may get lucky, you may not. Um, I've had elite trainer boxes where um, I get nothing and I completely get skunked and I've gotten elite trainer boxes where I've gotten like three or four pulls so it's 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 one of those things I guess Stunky, Dewpiter, Gibble, Murkrow, Gumshoes, Shieldon, Lopunny, a Reverse Hollow Rare Infernape and Nice, dude, a Zerkitry GX <laughs> full art, as I was just saying about the pools, right? Um, that is crazy. I think I have this in my collection already. Uh, I could be wrong. But the Zerkitry GX, it, it is a beautiful card because it almost looks like it's gold, but it's really not gold. It's more of a yellowish color uh, with the Pokemon outline being red and the black and the white. It just contrasts very, very well. I am super, super excited for this because if I don't need this for my collection... Guess what? This is going to be going into one of the custom-made tins. Uh, where you one in every three, you get a chance of pulling something cool. So, not bad, dude. Not bad at all. Let me go ahead and open up. Uh, let's do the Giratina first. Oh, let's not make sure this card is... Two, in a, two pulls, two pulls. That's great. I just realized that. All right, Giratina first. And then... Um, Wow, that's that's super dope, dude. I'm I'm super excited. There is an Ultra Prism code card for one of you guys. Again, I repeat myself. If you have something cool come out of the PTCGO, please let me know. It is super awesome for you guys to tell me. All right, let's see what this pack has in it. A Rayolu, Tortwig, Celandit, Eevee, beautiful artwork, Buzel, 
Order Pad, a Drift Blim, Mars, a Toxic Croak Reverse Hollow Rare. Are we going to get another Ultra Rare? Uh, one and a two and a three. A Lusamine Full Art Trainer. Holy smokes. This Elite Trainer box is on freaking fire, dude. Oh my god. This is so, no, so, so good. I am so happy I got to open this up. I miss Ultra Prism. Pokemon Company, this message is directly towards you if you ever get to see this at all. Please, please, give us another print run of Ultra Prism. It is a good set. You will sell lots of it, trust me. Um, I probably will get at least one or two more cases if that ever happens. So, you will sell a lot of these. Go ahead and print it again. We need it. Lusamine Full Art Support Trainer there. Oh my gosh. I already have one of these. Definitely in my collection. Uh, because I pulled that not too long ago. So you know what that means, right? This will be going into the tins. So if you guys want to buy some tins and get a chance of pulling something good, go ahead and get it. It's, it's amazing. Oh my gosh. So two Full Arts and one Super Boost Energy. Wow, dude. That is just absolutely nuts. All right, so here we go. Some psychic energy aside, I don't think we're gonna be getting anything else out of these uh, three packs. Um, if we did, it'll kind of be unfair. I don't know if I feel too good if that's the case, because two full arts out of eight packs is just um, amazing. Okay, a low punny again, a Manaphy, Cynthia. There we go. It's a beautiful trainer. Thank you. A Crow Gunk Reverse Hollow, and that happens to be an uncommon, and a Torterra. Hollow Rare. So there we go. We even got a Hollow Rare. Let's go ahead and put this dude back here. Wow, dude. All right. So let's do the Don Wings, and then we'll do uh, Leafeon last because um, I just love Leafeon. That's just my thing. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's continue on. Lightning energy aside. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> uh, all right. Here we go. Drift Loon. Let me out. Carnivine. Leaky Tongue, Sneasel, Sneasel, look at this artwork right there, it's amazing, uh, Lily, very nice, Magneton, Spiritomb, Fan Rotom, and that happens to be a Reverse Hollow Rare, and a Shaman, regular rare, that's not too bad, not too bad, alright, Leafeon, please, give us, uh, let me see, give us some Arequaza luck, there we go, please, please, that'll be nice. All right, let's see what happens here. Last pack. Last pack means you got to get that code card. So, what are we going to get? I don't think we're going to get anything else. There's the water energy aside. We can still get, a uh, again, a Prism Star card if we get a green code card. So, let's hope that's the case because it was a green code card. So, Bonary, Murlo, Electabuzz, Alolan Duck Trio, Ancient Crystal, Sherem, Chimchar Reverse Hollow Common, and a, an Empoleon. Okay, so that's not a bad pull right there. Empoleon happens to be a very good card in the TCG right now. So, I'd say this was a very, very successful opening. I don't know how much these cards are going for, uh, but I did pay $32.99 for the Elite Trainer Box. I don't know if these cards are enough to pay for the box itself, but maybe half of it. So it's pretty good, but nevertheless, it's an awesome thing to pull a Super Boost Energy, a Circuitry, as well as a Lusamine Full Art Trainer, and a Hollow Rare Torterra, which happens to be a good card as well. And then we did get some Reverse Hollow Rares and some good Rares, so it was a very successful opening, which is what I'm trying to say here for the Elite Trainer Box. All right, guys, I hope you guys loved the video. Please do if you did like, give me a like and let me know how I can make it better, even better for you guys. But if you did not like the video, give me a dislike and let me know definitely how I can improve it so you guys will be a little more happy. But definitely don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell on the way out just because it's so important and it takes one second to do that. It really helps out small channels like myself and go ahead and help out other small channels as well. Definitely do that. I definitely do so. I find every small channel I can find and I subscribe myself to them just because we need to help each other out. Alright guys, if you're listening and watching the Open TCGs, I will talk to you guys on the next one.